Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Mobile Legends. Um, so first of all, I feel much better than before. So let's just jump to the Mobile Legends video. It's about a new hero. Her name is Melissa. So this video is called The Needle A Puppet Show. Melissa cinematic trailer and there will be a hero spotlight. <laughs> Poor little Melissa. Her mother has become an angel, carefully watching over her from above. Okay, uh, first of all, this is really high quality of, of 3D, and it's look like a real doll. Uh, not a 3D doll, but it's moving like a 3D, so you know it's a 3D. Um, I like it, how they prove it uh, very, very well. Let's see. But even a guardian angel can't protect her from all the ill intentions in this world. Her half-sister is a big bully. And finally, Melissa decided... Melissa. <laughs> you must pay for what you've done! Who? Really? Up here it's kind of reminds me of jinx from mobile from league of legends uh, because jinx also have some kind of dolls um but this is like a magic more than shooting girl interesting <laughs> 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 Wait, those are wooden dolls. What? It's this doll specific reminds me of Amemu. But wow, those are wooden dolls. The best is yet to come. <laughs> it's just like a Jinx talking in the same laugh, the same voice. Wow. <laughs> it's getting late. Let's end this quick. Hmm? She's freaking. Let, let them go. Otherwise, I, I will kill her. Now, you're working my last nerve! Aha! Here it is! She is a mage? Oh wow. Is, is this this is Zayn, right? Ian, the, the last uh, hero that we I, I reacted to. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Hero Spotlight, featuring the second hero of the Forsaken Light series, Melissa. With the help of her beloved dolls, Melissa can easily melt her foes from an unreachable spot. Hero skills. First skill. Falling. Falling. Melissa dashes in the target direction and gains extra attack speed for a while. She'll also pull muddles and cuddles toward her when the two are on the field. Falling is Melissa's mobility tool that allows her to maneuver around the map and adjust the position of her dolls. The extra attack speed, on the other hand, grants her decent burst potential. Killing spree! Wow! Second skill. Go, muddles! Melissa throws muddles in the target direction, which will stop upon hitting an enemy hero or reaching the maximum distance and bind itself to all nearby enemy heroes. For the duration, Melissa will summon giggles on each of her basic attacks to shoot an extra cursed needle at muddles and can also use the attack minion button to attack muddles directly. 
All the damage taken by muddles within the duration will be transferred to the bound victims. Each needle thrown by Giggles will also reduce part of the cooldown of Melissa's first skill. Go, muddles! Is Melissa's primary damage source. Ultimate. Cut okay. Uh, the second skill is wow. Um, so her puppet is actually like a voodoo doll that uh, attached to whatever enemies surrounding around him, and when she is attacking the doll, it's um it's damaging um the enemy. But my also question is, if it's only her, or maybe the allies, if they damaging the, her puppet, uh, attacking her puppet, if it's also um, affecting the enemy. Really interesting. But I think it's not. I think it's only her. She needs uh, to throw her needle, uh, not uh, the rest of the allies. I'm not sure, but let's see. Cuddles, protect me! They didn't say that. Melissa orders Cuddles to release the field of protection, damaging okay. and pushing away nearby enemies while blocking them. What? Okay, so her ultimate is different than I thought. It is a shield, kind of. It's more like a dome, but it's not like exploding as I thought. I don't know, maybe it will, but... It's blocking from enemies to get close to her, so all the um, close range can't get in. I wonder if the um, the range uh, heroes can actually get to her, or maybe not. ...from entering the field for a while. The field will disappear early if Melissa moves too far away. Hmm. Cuddles, protect me! Is Melissa's she main away? defense... Um, so it kind of uh, will be good, so you're just putting it there, running away, and the enemies can get you because they blocked for a few seconds. ...measure against melee heroes. <laughs> Passive. Doll Buster. Melissa deals extra damage to summoned units, including models and all units summoned by the enemy. Pro tips. Pro tip number one. Move models flexibly with falling to avoid losing the enemies bound by go models. Pro tip number two. Cast Cuddles Protect Me to knock back opposing enemies and then falling to move the field and block they or restrict the enemy's movement. Skill combos. Laning phase. During the laning phase, cast Falling to quickly approach the enemy. Bind them to muddles using Go Muddles and then poke them with basic attacks. Cast Cuddles Protect Me when they're getting too close. Team fights. During team fights, look for the right opportunity to engage using falling, cast go muddles to bind muddles to multiple enemies, then spam basic attacks. Cast cuddles protect me to block approaching enemies and use falling when it's up again to adjust your position and increase your attack speed for higher burst damage. Tactics. Mid game. With her excellent mobility and solid ultimate mechanism, Melissa plays a big role in small-scale teamfights in the mid-game. Late game. After getting her hands on a few pieces of core equipment, Melissa can deal significant burst damage after successful Go Muddles hits, while the field created by Cuddles Protect Me allows her to take on enemies from a safe spot. For equipment, we recommend this crit chance and attack speed build. Okay, so she don't have a mage build, she is um AD build. Interesting, and she have also AD runes everything. Maximize Melissa's burst potential. For emblem, choose weakness finder of the marksman emblem to make the best use of her extra attack speed. Among the battle spells, Inspire is a great choice to further boost Melissa's burst damage. Finally, one friendly reminder for all Saber, Hayabusa, and Layla players. Always keep an eye out for Melissa's position and do not try to barge into her Wait. field of protection. You just can't. Okay, so Layla... I don't understand. Layla was able to hit her, right? I'm not sure what I saw. This was um, her dying. 
for all. Yeah, she. I think. Is she? She. I don't know. It's really. It's really blurry to know. Like it's too fast, you To know. Saber, Hayabusa, and Layla. No, she is attacking him. Yeah, her. So Lila can. So range. Uh, can still attack while she is in in the bubble, but not the close range. Cannot get um, close to her. The players always keep an eye out for okay. Melissa's position and do not try to barge into her field of protection. You just can't. Well, that's all for our new hero, Melissa, the Cursed Needle. And until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn. She's really cute. She's really interesting um, hero. She look like more more unique hero than the rest of the heroes I ever and champions I ever saw. From uh, uh, there's a lot of copying between um, Mobile Legends, League of Legends, and the rest of the games, um, different games. Uh, this specific hero, I can't can't relate her with different. Um, champions and, and heroes. She have really unique uh, abilities. I know specific um, her ultimate the shield is is can it can kind of uh, relate to Xin Zhao um, shield thing around him uh, while he, when he's uh, ulting but it's not the same because you can't hit him with range but still can hit him while you close to him. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, in here, it's a kind of different. It's more shield. You can't access to it. Uh, but from what, how I saw it, you can still hurt her while you arrange a uh, champion a hero like Lila. But in this fight specific, she was uh, Lila was really close to them, and so it was like really fast to damage her, to kill her. Um, so he's saying that they saying um, with with Melissa you can kill Lila much more faster because you know Lila she's a really really uh, strong OP uh, hero in Mobile Legends really OP if you know how to build her and know uh, how to position uh, to be in position, the right position, and you have good teammates. You don't need to be in the front line. You can be in a back line, and your teammates will be uh, trying to uh, assist you, and not just be a jerk and just go leave you in the front line. So you can be a really good Lila player um, and destroy the enemy team with with one hit. Same with uh, Mia, of course, and. <laughs> They're saying Melissa is she's a counter for Lila. I I don't know. They say so, but I I don't know. It's I really don't know. So she is. I thought she's a mage, but she isn't. She is another uh, ADC, AD carry. She will be another uh, from the marksman's height look like with her build. And her uh, runes, she is like one of the marksmen, actually, without again. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash like button if you do. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification, and of course, tell me in the comments down below what you think about this uh, new hero. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, you can al always comment me on the comments down below. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye.